Home is a ruckus of rolling rubber. It's a bus back bus barreling down back roads, a crumble brow line and a push up mouth saying, that too far. Homer is a salty perfume. It's dressed in dingy like. For starters, I think, so funny enough, I am actually the poetry slam king of Barbados. I won it last year, first ever inaugural one. And I feel poetry in school. So <laughs> I never liked poetry in school. So I think that's the first thing. I think we introduce poetry in a very, well, it's academic class. So it has to be introduced in an academic way, but it could turn off people because had I known, because we read poetry, we never listened to it, we never watched it. So for me, reading poetry was just, it was, the language was too dense. And even though I understood it, it wasn't really, it wasn't my first choice. So I think if we want to develop poets as a actual occupation and as a revenue generating activity, we would have to consider teaching it maybe in a mixed format where we utilize the different expressions of poetry, the page, the stage, the film, the sound, etc. That's the first thing. I think the second thing is that um, we need contemporary poetry in the classroom. When I did poetry, we had a poetry book where a lot of their poems was from the 90s, early 2000s. Um, I, it's a writer book, cannot remember. World of Poetry, I think it's called World of Poetry, yeah. Um, there were some poems and they liked, but I had to like them because we had a choice. We had to read them. And I had a funny one I liked to do a critique on, so it was really a fourth light, but I didn't like them poems. I, I, I had to like them, so I think some contemporary books would be nice. There's a colleague of mine, Tia Fari, that actually brought out a poetry book, a three-part poetry book. I'm not sure if it's in schools, but it, it's a perfect start to implement a book like that. Um, and I think lastly, too, when we do poetry at Cape, I, I didn't do it at Cape because I feel it. So, I see, I see. so um, I, I don't know if there's a practical side of it where the, po the, the children actually have to read poetry that they've written. I don't know if they even write any poetry um, at, at literature or if they just do reviews and critiques. But I think that could be a little showcase, even, even if it's only for the debating society, literary debating society, what not to see. Because the rest is cool, but not welcome. And that's fine. But you start small, and if people that they like in there, other people might come in and you can grow it from there. Because you've got to develop an appetite for the readers. Because you can't just got people creating poetry and then there's nobody to consume it. So you need to develop an appetite in the readers, develop an appetite at large. Because I've had people call me for gigs and the actual person calling me for gigs telling me, I had, I had a poet real hard to sell you for this gig because nobody don't really like poetry. I don't know, but you here calling me to perform as a poet and you tell me that nobody don't like poetry. So what are you calling me? Like, well, that's absurd. And the fact that someone will feel comfortable enough to do that is a reflection of the art form in of itself. Because if my brand wasn't known, you wouldn't be calling me. So it's not from a brand point, it's from a, this is what you just do. And so yeah, you gotta stimulate an appetite for it so then people will respect it and then get people to create it at a certain level. And even if they don't create it at a high level, the experience doesn't always have to be technical. It doesn't have to be um, this well polished thing. Sometimes sometimes it's like perfect and rough and some boy that don't really know what I'm doing is meant for very entertainment product. So that's entertainment as opposed to art though. So there's nothing wrong with the poet being an entertainer as opposed to an artist. And there's nothing wrong with the artists also being entertainers because they can't just go all the academic and creativity and that application you need to have fun with it. And I think when people think of poetry, don't think of fun. I don't think people think, oh yeah, my god, this poetry line, that is be fun. People that are already engrossed in the world is they have poetry to do that, but the average bitch ain't doing that. And I would know, I mean, I've been trying to get people to come on over here. So yeah, that's yeah, that's my two cents on that. Showing your pebbly pimples, making pillows on bedrock. Home is an early sleeper. Home is a choir of cacaws clawing at the air, a crawling of roots creeping across cracked gravel corpses.